Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. African civil rights activist Nelson Mandela did say, to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. Welcome to The Advocate, where five thought-provoking topics are discussed with no holds barred here on Plus TV Africa. We basically call it a spade by its name. The right to protest is on my mind today after yet another round of intimidation last weekend. The vexing question of leadership is also up again, but this time, Treasure is not teaching English language today, nor is she angry about UN Women Nigeria or her darling profession. But surprisingly, she's teaching protocols amongst government functionaries. I can't wait to listen to her. The birthday man who was absent last week is back to talk about the virtue of lifestyle change vis-a-vis -vis what we eat. Neidu, yes, the famous end-time landlord, also known as Alaji Musa, is also here with us today. Not to see corruption as come chop is what he's telling us. And Liberos, the son of Oshoma, is using Nigeria's national anthem and the usual play on words to remind us that though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand if only we agree to disagree. I know you're watching because you expect a mix of seriousness, laughter, and jabs. So sit back, we're here to please. After the break, welcome again. 40 peaceful protesters were arrested at Lekki Togate last weekend. Some people were upset at their audacity. I ask, what's the job of the Nigerian police? Aside from arresting peaceful protesters, that is, the police arrested them for breaking COVID-19 protocols, but the same police packed them in black marias and buses like sardine. They said they broke the police instruction against any protest, peaceful or not. But I ask again, is the Nigerian police above the Nigerian constitution? The protesters were harassed, their phones smashed. Is that okay by all of us? Wow, and we say we aren't in a zoo. I can't even beat animals like that. If people, uh, a few people asked why the protesters gathered, I asked, has there been justice since the Lekki Togate massacre? Or oh, that doesn't count for anything. Why is the Togate being considered for reopening without answers? Some accused the protesters of being paid by opposition. That's the funniest. Not like it's impossible. But if I joke with President Buhari's opponents online, I can't demand for good governance from his government? Must everything be reduced to party politics? Why can't we focus on the real issues, like who ordered the shooting at the Lekki Gate? Will they ever be brought to book? Imagine the state that houses the most notorious SARS unit in the country. It hasn't even convened its panel of inquiry. Did the government think things will just go back to being normal? The harrowing stories of police brutality across the country is something we all should be concerned about. But no, some people are busy mocking the people who came out to protest. If the police can't protect peaceful protesters, what's the job of the police force? If people had to be murdered so the Lekki Togate can be reopened, 
what's the value of a Nigerian life? And if Nigeria is working for you now because you like the government in power or you're benefiting from it, are you saying it's okay for your children to be killed in future when the government in power is different? I know we all can't see things the same way, but if we can't agree on the sanctity of human life just because you support a government, remember, what goes around does come around. Your own life may be the next in line. Will Nigerians ever come together to demand good governance regardless of the political party in power? I'm just a journalist asking questions. Say fini. Well, I'm just an accountant. County no, money. They do is um, he's a journalist not asking questions. <laughs> mm, but treasure is always asking questions though. And so but really for me, um, it's just a vicious circle. We just keep going. Um, the funniest part of it is the fact that everything those in power and their supporters criticized those days, hmm. they support today. Very true, sir. And everything those in opposition criti uh, supported before now, they criticized today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, how, how, sorry, uh, how is it not intriguing that the same people, I remember <clears throat> when Minister Lai was the spokesperson of the APC back then, weren't we looking at, at them on TV all over the place, massive protests? Yep. At uh, Ojota. That, that's, that's, that's how it works. And now <laughs> it is it. criminal. But, but, but you must give gather. it to them. They yes. were a better opposition party. Mm. Very it, true. I, I don't, it, I don't think a better PDP... opposition party does not criminalize the right to, to protest. protest. No, I agree. No, it has nothing to do with the exactly. right to protest. Exactly. So why are they doing this? So, when is their turn? To be the incumbent that, that's government. The thing. Listen, if it benefits you, yeah. it's not. It's, it's okay. No, it's gold. Okay. That's the it's way it works. But if it doesn't benefit you, I no, no, you, you dare not tell you. I don't think I started. Okay, okay, so I then have, I have a, I have a follow-up question then. Does it mean that as Nigerians, as a people, we're very okay with mediocrity? We're, yes, we are, we are. we're all corrupt. No, yeah, yeah we are. So yes, it's just that yeah. we haven't gotten the opportunity to show how corrupt yes, we are. You know the, the, the smartest person in Nigeria Will become a mediocre overnight when it gets to a position of About. influence and there is money to be grabbed. Yes. You just start wondering what happened to my guy overnight. You keep asking questions. Money has you come. see a guy, maybe when the guy is um, 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 campaigning, ah, I will do this, ah, I will do this one once I enter. And then all of a sudden the guy gets there. You come, they wonder, ah, Baba, not be that guy with us. Say, Go do this President Buhari <laughs> actually <laughs> even told us when he recounted his um, campaign promises and said, mm. no. Now, APC campaign, that was their uh -oh. manifesto. So he didn't believe in some of those things himself. And I remembered last, before the election, was it 2015? Yeah, 2015. Yeah. What is subsidy? Uh, What's subsidy? That video what? is online. <laughs> <laughs> that video, is there anybody that tells you about subsidy is lying to you? Lying to you. Meanwhile, yeah. last week, here, yeah. I mean this week, what, which are they talking? We see the this bills. week, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Billions every week. Is going down. You, you see, all in the name of you see, um, for me, um, I want to give kudos <clears throat> to those guys that came out to protest. Yeah. Um, despite all the threats, they were yeah. courageous. They yeah. were courageous. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us couldn't even come out. Yeah. Some of us felt, you know, just like um, the song, the Christian song, I can't I'll come to the back way. Mm. Don't trouble me now. I have <laughs> so that was, that no one died, uh -huh. But these ones showed courage in the face of a moving train. True. They all came out, and if only we all speak with one voice like this, what is the capacity of the you know, total Nigerian prison put together? True. True. The capacity of Black Maria to start with. It's about 52,000. Mm. And then currently you have about um, 60, 67,000 inmates. inmates. And so that is excess of about 15,000 already. Space to so put even if you now arrest, let's say you have 500,000 people and they step out. If they arrest all of us, I tell you, just like what had happened, they will be confused on what to charge what's us. Do, with. do you know the truth? Uh, we're, 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 sorry to cut you. We're at the position where 
those people, for, for me, those people that came out, I'm sure thousands more wanted to come out that day. But they were afraid. But, they were afraid. Right. Now, but yeah. those ones that, you know, like nothing will happen or die and I die, that came out that day. Nigerians at the position where if you talk, nothing will happen. Yeah. You, talk, you talk, nothing, nothing will happen. happen. This one who they live now, like, who you could die on top. Yes. But, but it's, it's, was it not an opportunity for the Nigerian police? Because how many people came redeem, out at the end of the day? Redeem, it's exactly, you're and there. Protect them. Yeah. Protect them. Yes. Let them just yes. do their. Pro you know, I saw a huge speaker. Tell the guy with the speaker that, look, you can't have a party here. Keep your speaker. But those guys who have come, you come with placard. Do your thing. thing. We'll it's be like watching you do your even, thing. It's like they were even looking for opportunities to arrest. Yes. Because yeah. I saw and they arrested then? one a uh, dispatch rider. What I find dispatch. incomprehensible is the aftermath of everything. I know that in the civil service, as a former general manager, if you're sending your staff out, there's a briefing. Exactly. Yeah. You brief and then you brief. So then if this happens, do this. If this happens, do this. But so you sent out policemen to that place, and you're now telling us that Chanty they should no investigate them. Why did they? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> the same way we are still investigating those who shot at the Lekki toll gate. I mean, by the way, the gate the was break. never shut down. Sorry, I said the toll gate was never shut down. Okay. You said because you refer to being opening the toll gate. <laughs> 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 But it's, it's a lot to think about. What's the value of the Nigerian life, truly? Mm. After the break, Treasure will be looking at the leadership loop in Nigeria vis-a-vis -vis the breach of protocol in Shasha. Stay with us. We'll be right back.